welcome back in the last video we saw the mechanism of action of penicillins in this video we will see what are the problems associated with penicillins with regards to their activity the learning objectives of this video is after this viewing this video the student should be able to understand the reasons for bacterial resistance against penicillins, correlate the factors to be considered while designing new molecules in a penicillin class, and take design decisions while designing new molecules in penicillin class of antibiotics. So penicillins we had seen inhibit bacterial cell wall synthesis by preventing the last step that is the cross-linking of the peptides. Resistance has been observed in activity of drugs belonging to this class and the spectrum of activities especially most of them are found to be very less active against gram negative bacteria. Many penicillins also get inactivated by the gastric acid in the stomach and therefore cannot be used as oral drugs. So there are four prime aspects which affect the activity and spectrum of penicillins. As just said, gastric degradation of beta-lactam ring and therefore no oral activity of the drug. Enzymatic lysis of beta-lactam ring by beta-lactamase enzyme also known as penicillinases. Presence of additional protective layer, layer in gram-negative bacteria thereby requiring the drug to have special characteristics so that it can pass through that protective thin layer or requirement to pass through coding channels because gram negative bacteria many of those also have aqueous channels called as coding channels those proteins which allow hydrophilic compounds to pass through the beta lactamase enzyme also known as penicillinases is an enzyme produced by some bacteria and causes degradation of penicillins. This beta-lactamase enzyme is a close relative of transpeptidase with almost the same binding sites. Unlike transpeptidase, beta-lactamase enzyme binds to penicillin, hydrolyzes it and releases it and is available to degrade a new molecule. We, if you remember, we had said that transpeptidase, once it, it is bound to penicillin, that transpeptidase is unable to uh, carry out peptidoglycan formation in other. That means it cannot be regenerated back. This is not the case with beta lactamase. That means once penicillin binds to it, it hydrolyzes it and again is ready to bind to another penicillin molecule and thereby degrading it. So the process is rapid and can decrease the concentration of penicillin within seconds. Thereby, the active concentration of penicillin will be decreased, and therefore, this would lead to resistance. Again, a very important thing that we'll also look into SAR. Due to the acid character of the gastric juice or the effect of the beta lactamase enzyme, the beta lactam ring opens and becomes inactive. That we have already said about beta lactamase because this carbonyl group is susceptible for attack. We will see that in detail in SAR. So right now it would suffice to say that ring stability or acid degradation is because of this beta lactam ring. Also the action is because of the beta lactam ring. In gram-negative bacteria, there is an additional protective layer. So this is, there is a structural difference between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Gram-negative bacteria has additional layer made up of lipopolysaccharide and the cell wall therefore has a protective layer whereby the drug, if it has to attack a gram-negative bacteria, it will first have to cross this lipopolysaccharide or somehow reach the cell wall whereby it can act by blocking the transpeptidase enzyme. Even though gram positive cell wall is thick but it is porous. 
allowing entry of penicillins into it. Gram negative protective layer is impervious to penicillins. So what is the requirement of penicillins to pass through this gram negative bacteria? They will have to use the porine channels. So penicillins need to enter cell wall and reach the outer region of cell membrane as transpeptidase enzyme is located. Yeah, this is achieved by crossing through porine channels located in cell wall. And the size of the molecule should not be very bulky so that it cannot cross the porine channels. Since beta-lactam antibiotics have certain problems in achieving the desirable activity, what do you believe that how can these problems be tackled in the use of the penicillin class of antibiotics? Now pause this video and try to think what can you do as a chemistry student whereby you will make this drug either acid stable or beta lactam is stable or may increase the activity of drug to both gram positive against gram positive bacteria as well as against gram negative bacteria. So what 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 have you thought? So for becoming active against a range of bacteria, the penicillin class of antibiotics should have certain features. First of all, of course, if it is orally active, it is much better. So beta is becoming because it can be hydrolyzed by acids as well as by beta lactamase enzyme. So you'll have to find ways to stop this hydrolysis. Second is it must have that characteristics in the structure which allows it to pass through porine channels and show activity. And last but not the least, the spectrum of activity is narrowed by this presence of additional protective layer, layer and also because between the additional protective layer and the cell wall, there are a lot of beta lactamases which also lead to destruction of the Pair penis leaves. Thank you.